Zig Fermanic from Sumatra Development here to show you our Apple iCalendar server to Microsoft Exchange calendar migration, full state. So here we see Jimi Hendrix's calendar on uh, Apple iCalendar server. Uh, we're currently running El Capitan. Um, here is where we're going to bring him, Office 365, nothing there. And we're going to do this on our volume. Yes. Uh, yes, we'll just, you know, no, we'll delete those entries because we're going to do a clean one here. So right now we're inserting data into everybody's calendar. I think Jimmy is one of the later uh, people that we're going to insert. So you're going to see this happen in real time. We're not going to cut away. And let's go to today. Oh, yeah, there we go. We've already got some data here. And notice we put in things like travel time. We're going to see more data populate here um, very quickly. Um, we put in travel time. We take care of things being private. We maintain uh, recurrence patterns. Uh, we maintain meetings live. That means that you've got a guest list. You've got guest responses. We're going to show you all of that in just a minute. Um, and let's see. Oh, yeah. There we go. There was nothing here before. It's all coming in now. Ah, yeah. And there we see Jimmy invites Jerry to a meeting. We're going to wind up showing that being accepted in just a second. I'm just going to put this, I'm just going to go down here and take a look at our, yeah, this is still going in. Yep, there we go. Oh, yeah. And, yeah, there we have some meeting migrations. Yep, so that's done. But let's just respond to all those invitations so that we've got real live meeting meetings here. We haven't mapped all the users in our database. But one thing you can see, accepted. So here we go. We've got meetings that are actual meetings. And we know that because here in Outlook, Jimmy's, Janice's meeting with Jimmy, she's accepted it. If she declined it, that would be there as well. So we could now change this. This is completely functional. And let's take a look at what all our, yeah, remember how there was nothing here before? There's a lot here now. And again, we're doing this on a server to server basis. So any other user that we had, um, we tend to use Rock stars, Janice Joplin, Jerry Garcia, they're all in here as well. Don't need to show you that now, but I will show you one of the other great features, which is we can undo everything. Let's say that you completely, you know, um, let's say that your server fails while you're doing an insertion, you need to, a migration, you need to move it, you need to remove all our data. We can remove all the data that we inserted selectively. I just ran an undo all because it's much quicker. Um, yeah, this will all come out in a second. There's a certain latency here of how many of these we can clear out. Ah, there we go. They're gone. Those are gone. So we've just showed you uh, a server to server Apple iCalendar to Microsoft Office 365 could just as easily be on premises exchange calendar migration keeping all of your meetings live. Thank you very much. Contact Sumatra, www.sumatra.com, if you're interested. Bye-bye.